you know, as I said, I have really come here to be with Mr. Duraswamy, so I don't want to, I, I mean, uh, really speak at greater length. But I think it's very important, uh, I mean, to recognize, uh, I mean, there are three things about the Citizenship Amendment Act. First of all, uh, it's illogical because it, it excludes, uh, for example, Tamil refugees, who are the largest stateless population in India. Uh, it's immoral because it explicitly discriminates against Muslims. Essentially what it says is only Muslim states discriminate and Muslims are not, everyone is discriminated against except Muslims. So it is clearly discriminatory and it is uh, completely, un not just unconstitutional, it violates everything that Gandhiji stood for. You know, Modi often quotes Gandhi, but he will say, he will quote everything about Gandhi except Hindu-Muslim harmony. Now, you cannot have, you cannot talk about Darwin without the theory of evolution. You cannot talk about Einstein without the theory of relativity. And you cannot talk about Gandhi without Hindu-Muslim harmony because that is what he lived and died for. Right. And this government, this government violates Gandhi's ideal of Hindu-Muslim harmony in spirit, in deed, in thought, everything. You know, uh, uh, so finally, as Mr. Dhanaswabi says, it is also... Uh, uh, the CAA is clearly a diversionary and diabolical uh, move to divert our attention from the real problems facing the country, which have been read out in that pamphlet. You know, agrarian distress, declining economy, joblessness. And it's remarked, this movement against it must continue. Whatever the political parties do or do, do not do, whatever the Supreme Court does or does not do, the movement against it must continue. I mean, I think I wish more students would come and be inspired by someone like, uh, like Doris Swami. And uh, really, I mean, it's, it's, it's something which uh, it essentially, you know, it's, it, this is a struggle for the soul of India. Uh, it's nothing less than this. I mean, if, we, if they get away with the CAA and we fall quiet, uh, the kind of discrimination aimed at the moment at Muslims will then be aimed at South Indians, at Northeasterners, at anyone who disagrees with them. So it's really a very, very worrisome time for us. And that's why we must be inspired by what at his age Doris Swami is doing. As I said, he's been 70 years in public life, you know, and he's still going strong for us.